parts of this tower project up under these trees we haven't been able to mow. And it's part of the reason is because these limbs are in the way. So I thought maybe this mower would help us out. We're going to give it a try today. Let's get started. So we're going to do two things. I've started by mowing under the limbs, which is something I can't do with uh, one of the mowers very easily. But I'm also going to see if I can actually cut these limbs with this mower. I may be taking too big a bite here. I've never done this. I don't know. When I had seen these mowers on other channels and in other sources, one of my fears was safety. By operating myself, I was able to learn some tricks and develop some guidelines to help keep me safe. I'll share what I consider to be the most important throughout this episode. That's the back side of the loader right there. The first thing I'm showing you here is what I would consider to be rule number two. We'll get to rule number one later. I know, they're out of order, so, well, you get what you pay for. Anyway, rule number two, I learned that when the mower is vertical, like you see here, that there's really no danger or very limited danger of anything being thrown back at me. The mower's throwing stuff, don't get me wrong, but the mower deck itself is keeping the items from coming toward the tractor. Let's see if I can just turn right in. Wow. Maybe a little hard to see from this angle, but that deck is quite a ways to the right of the operator. So as long as it's throwing stuff straight back, wow then the operator's out of the line of fire. We'll get to rule number one in a minute. I believe this thing's rated up to three inches. So I should be below that yet here. attempted or some brush attempted on few other YouTube channels. <laughs> but as usual, I've not seen anyone be as aggressive as what I am being here. I want to make sure that's not turned toward me. Uh-oh, you just heard rule number one. Took that tree right down. Okay, now I want a mulching head out there in addition to a mower. Somebody make me a mulching head. That would be great. Wow. So what I've learned so far, one tree down, is that unlike mowing, where you drive right along the side, in this case, I actually want to drive and turn in toward the tree as I hit the branches. It seems to work a lot better that way. I can mulch up those little branches right here. One thing I like is I can really reach out there into an area like this between these two trees. Mow right out there in that. It's great for trimming an area like this. Look at that. I'm gonna take this limb off this tree here, watch this. out there on it, push it in. Maybe I'll just take the whole tree. I'm liking that stump. I think we can kind of see it. Oh, if I get rid 
very nice. Getting used to the controls and how they behave, that's really helping. Okay, I'll get out here where you can see better. So rule number one, uh, the most important rule of safety on any mower that's attached like this to the loader is do not tilt the loader down. Make sure that mower deck is either flat or tilted upward on the front of the deck. If you tilt that front of that deck down, it'll throw stuff right at you. The interesting part is, is when you're mowing totally vertical, you don't have to worry about that. Loader tilt or curl doesn't change the angle of the deck with respect to the ground in that situation. Learning that trick made it much less stressful to mow those limbs. Some of you are probably talking about how, how it, it, it doesn't leave the tree looking very nicely. And I understand that. So I wouldn't recommend this as an approach to, to push the brush back beside your yard. You gotta understand that when we're when we're working out in a, in a fence row along the edge of a farm or uh, you know there's many other scenarios where quite frankly we wish the little trees weren't there they're just going to be a nuisance they're just going to be in the way um, we'd love to just be rid of them so we really don't care that it leaves them look a little bit rough if that makes me out of line with you some tree lover sorry that, I have nothing against trees, but we don't need them everywhere. For example, here's a nice little oak, but it's not in a good spot. Folks, I'm wearing the Isotunes Link Aware. It's a different product than I've worn before. It allows me to hear outside noise, except when that noise is too loud. So, if I'm quiet here, you'll be able to hear the tractor noise clearly. Let me show you what it sounds like when I run the tractor wide open. Now the, the sound is blocked out. Entirely. So it gives me the advantage of the hearing protection when I need it, when the, when the noise outside is too loud, but it allows me to hear everything when the noise is not too loud. Okay? Now, this is not really meant for the tractor, but it's working well for that. It's meant for like the noise of a hammer. You'll see that noise get blocked out, and I hope that you can, you can hear this and, and see what's going on. But it actually amplifies the ambient noise so that I can hear better when, when there's no uh, high, high noise levels. But then it, it cuts off that, that amplification uh, when there's a loud noise. This mower pulls harder than a pull-type mower. So it's uh, much easier to pull the engine down. Uh, if I get in this heavy grass, it pulls a little harder. I think 35 inches is definitely all we would want. For this size tractor, we certainly don't need any more than that. Look, I really like how I can get in there and trim way back in there. Trim right around that tree. Wow. Hard to know where to quit. 
feel like I can keep on mowing and mow all the way back in here. I know I can. And I mowed a lot of this last year, or maybe some of my friends did, some of my Tom Sawyer friends that I had over. Mowed way back in there last year, but I'd like to keep these autumn olive trees down. that hasn't come about yet. We have a trail trimming project. The part of the trail that we thought we were going to be trimming last year, it turns out it got transferred in ownership. It got transferred to the city, so I think they're taking care of it. But I did get an email the other day that I may still have some trail trimming to do. I believe I now have the right tool for the job. I was actually wondering how I was going to handle it. Um, I have, had several tools, but I wasn't sure I had quite the right tool to be able to reach up high like this and still be able to trim some of those limbs uh, over your head. That's certainly going to trim uh, high enough right there that you can ride bicycles under. So I believe this is going to be the perfect tool for the job. This is a great camera angle to see rule number two in action. Look how much stuff it's throwing, but you get a good angle there to see how it throws it out to the right of the operator, and the operator, me in this case, is not in danger at all. I admit it was a little freaky watching that stuff flying by, but none of it ever headed toward me in the least bit. to mention this is a hardy brush tiger 35 made in south carolina there are two other loader mount side mowers for compact tractors but this is the only one that uses a third function to be able to hydraulic angle up and down your mower deck it makes a huge improvement in my opinion it's not cheap it lists for over seven thousand dollars but it's an amazing machine folks yet another tool to add to your brush management of your property this is incredibly versatile. Uh, it, can, it can handle brush higher than anything else we've had so far. It can take care of limbs up to three inches. The only disadvantage I can see at these higher limbs is how it, it, it leaves them in pretty rough shape. But you could get them trimmed back pretty good. You could come through with a chainsaw, make a clear cut behind it. Uh, if, if it was important to you, I think that might even be easier, but you still would have the rest of it all mulched up. Not much work. If you didn't see the earlier episode where we were mowing the pond banks with this same mower, go check it out. I think this is going to be an important tool in our tool belt going forward. Folks, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.